Hey everyone, with summer upon us and more things opening back up, uh, this is a great story about asking someone to play. Uh, sometimes our little guys might need help. They don't know how to ask someone to play with them. They might want to, but sometimes they might be shy. Sometimes they might not have the vocabulary. So mom or dad, if you're listening to this with us, um, you can help them walk over to the child at the park and help your child ask, would you like to play with me? Do you want to go on the swings? Do you want to go on the slide? Uh, if you're in your neighborhood, like these kids are, there are some fun activities that they do together that might give you some ideas. So this is called, Will You Play With Us? It's by Margaret Finney, illustrated by Lynn Woodcock Kravath. Here's our title page. Will you play with us? So these kids are in the backyard. We always like to do a little picture walk first. Look in the backyard. These kids are having a bat and a glove and a ball. So they're playing like maybe a little baseball game. Uh, even if the kids don't know how to play real baseball, they can still toss the ball and catch, practice hitting, things like that. Will you play with us? Let's play in the yard. So I like how the neighbor boy is coming in and they're all gonna play together. Oh, look at this one. They're climbing a tree. This one is an apple tree. Will you climb with us? Let's climb up the tree. So this depends on where you live and what kind of trees you have, if you can do that activity. We have got the kids on the swings. Very cool. Will you swing with us? Let's swing on the swings. So something I notice is that there's more and more kids coming into each picture. So here we have three kids. Then we added another little boy and he's looking kind of shy. And now they're adding some more kids. I like how more and more kids are coming to play. Will you skate with us? Let's skate down the hill. And again, we got more kids. So those roller blades, we can call those skates. So teaching the different vocabulary that things can have more than one name. Will you race with us? Let's race to Mark's yard. And I love how there's more kids and we have a friend who's in a wheelchair. He can race also. I love how this book is inclusive of all of the different kids and all of their different abilities. I love that. Oh, and now they're inside with a flashlight and it's dark. Will you sleep with us? Let's sleep in the tent. Oh, that sounds like a fun activity. So they have a tent in the backyard. That's super cool. And I say good night. So I really like how this book has lots of different kids of um, abilities and even races. I love how all of these kids, it doesn't matter what the color of your skin is, they don't even notice that. That's the best part I love about our kids is they don't notice that kind of thing. They all just want to play. So I hope that you will think about some ways to play with a friend or a neighbor. Uh, if you're at a playground and there's a kid that you don't know, you could ask them their name and ask if they want to play with you. And you can think of something to play on the slide, on the swings, some kind of a game with a ball like they had, chasing game, anything like that. So have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Bye.